don't need to use those badly converted PDFs to edit in Word anymore. And I don't have to go back into Word to make changes and re-export my planner as a PDF. I can just edit the PDF itself. And what's more, I've got AI in my PDF planner to speed up and to enrich my productivity. I've been using PDFs in all of my digital planners since I first bought an e-ink tablet three years ago. And I've mostly stopped using paper for my home office use at least. I haven't changed the toner cartridge in my laser printer in years. I'm quite passionate about going paperless at work. Just think about how much printing you would save if your office began to use a cloud service like this to edit, export, sign and share digital documents. Professionals will also benefit from using PDF for knowledge management, for your planner, for your research, for your meeting notes and actions and for collaboration. I'm recommending PDF Element to you today and I'm sure that there's going to be something in this video which will streamline your workflow and save you time. AI tools like today's sponsor, PDF Element from Wondershare, can save you time and also improve the quality of what you do. PDF Element is a one-stop PDF solution powered by AI. It's fast and an affordable way to edit, convert and sign PDFs, but there's much more. There are desktop apps as well as mobile and web platforms, so try out the new AI tools now in the desktop app from the link in the description. I tried and I failed to go complete paperless at work because, well, in education, it still seems that we all insist on having a paper handout for every small piece of training that we do. It's really frustrating. But what I can do with PDF Element though, is I can take a scan of those handouts on my ink tablet, and then I can have PDF Elements OCR to convert it to a digital text PDF. If only large organizations like mine would commit to using something like PDF Element from Wondershare, they could keep their professional knowledge library all of their training documents and policies in one cloud location. I'm looking forward to a future workplace where I'll be able to chat with my organization's PDF library and get tailored AI answers based on the stored documents. Let me just dispel a myth before I go on. Not using paper is not about saving trees. In the UK, all of our paper is made from sustainable forestry. It's more about the chemicals in the inks and the other plastic consumables. If they aren't properly disposed of, this can cause a lot of environmental damage. And there's also the toxicity of the chemicals in printing for those that are actually operating the machinery. All digital devices have serious impact when you look at the scarce and toxic chemicals in the batteries and the circuitry. But we are using digital devices as well as large scale printing in most organizations. So if we can cut out one, that would be a great benefit for the environment. Then there's the cost of printing. Do an analysis of how much your organization spends on printing each year. If you know the answer to that, post it in the comments below. Then think of what else the organization could do with that money. It's easily enough money to get everybody a stylus enabled device to be able to use PDFs more purposefully and easily enough to buy licenses to PDF Element. You can check out the prices from the links below, but it's going to be much less than $100 per year per license. And it's gonna allow you to collaborate around documents in a fully secure and fully capable PDF workspace. And let me know. Could your workplace go paperless? I wanna know what are the barriers and what else does a PDF management tool need to do to make it a possibility? I'd love to hear from you and chat with you in the comments. So I work in schools and I'm often wondering why is there such resistance to going paperless? It is the 21st century after all. Is it the usability? Is it a skills gap? Or is it just an inertia? It's, this is the way it's always been done, so why should we change? Well, look, there's so many benefits of PDF element, I can't go into depth on all of them in this video, but I'll show you a couple that I found really useful towards the end of this video. You can electronically fill and sign forms, use OCR, that's handwriting or text recognition of scanned files. You can annotate PDFs, more on that when I talk about the iPad app in another video. You can create PDFs from scratch, you can build out all of the elements of a document just like you would on a desktop publisher without ever leaving the PDF format. I really like this because the file is just ready to share or to go straight onto an e-ink tablet. There's also a whole load of handy PDF templates, including US tax forms with editable files ready to go. You can convert between many popular file formats and PDF, including office file types, image files, and even EPUB and HTML. There's too many supported file formats for me to list individually. You can protect PDFs and you can translate them. You can combine pages into new files or you can extract pages from a longer PDF into a shorter one. You can compress a PDF to get it ready for sharing. 
and this is something I actually use quite a bit, especially if I've made something with a lot of images, it's best to compress it before emailing it. And you can look in a bit more detail at any of these features which are particularly of interest to you in the excellent tutorials that Wondershare have made for you and I've linked in the description as well. I want to talk a bit more about the PDF editing and the AI tools though, because these are the two that I'm really trying to integrate into my planning workflow this year. My old paper planning was just untenable. <laughs> I used to make a planner for the full two week timetable in Word and then I'd print off a batch of them. Every repeated item in my schedule was already there. I had pages for notes in my weekly meetings, I had a block for every lesson with a few prompts for the things that I was working on in my pedagogy and I ended up with stacks of these things and I didn't want to bin them because I'd lose important notes from meetings in the previous month or the previous term or even the year before. And they'd get really scruffy even though I carried them around in a neat little ledger. And then there was all the paper that everyone handed to me. So transferring my planning from paper to e-paper tablets was game changing because I could simply use the same workflow. I made a digital planner, export it as a PDF, and then I just simply transfer it to the e-ink tablet and write on it as if it was paper. So no more stacks of paper and all of those notes available as long as I chose to keep the file. My colleague used to talk about finding things in their paper stack as an exercise in archeology. span The deeper down the pile you went, the further back in time you went. But in some tablets, like the books for instance, you can even search through all of your notes even the handwritten ones. But then I had an issue that whenever there were timetable changes or meeting schedule changes, I'd have to go back into Word to edit the doc file and then re-export it as a PDF and then transfer that back to the ink tablet. No longer have I got that issue because of the editing tools on PDF Elements. I've been asked lots of times by you guys in the audience to share my digital planner that I actually use on the ink tablets, but I've always thought there wasn't much point in doing so because the key point about this planner is it contains my schedule. So I always recommend that people simply make a Word document on their own and then re-export. But now I finally feel comfortable to share it because now I've got a tool that I can recommend to you where you can easily edit the PDF to make it your own. So now I can edit this planner quickly and easily whenever things change without having to go back into that Word file and then re-export it again. And things change a lot in my line of work. You can edit everything just like you would edit a Word, a PowerPoint or a publisher file. Secondly, for digital planning, I've got an AI chatbot right here in PDF Elements. So as I work through the week's planning, I'm just going to be asking it questions like, give me some ways that I can engage younger pupils about learning about genetics. Or what are some interesting thinking questions that I'll be able to ask 14 year olds when they're first studying the topic of energy. This is just gonna give me those ideas in planning to quickly insert into my lessons. And maybe I'll ask it just to generate a few comprehension questions from blocks of instructional text. Or add sentence starters to worksheet pages to scaffold less confident students with writing. I'm also finding the AI tools really useful to summarize and explain bits of my PDFs. So if I come across important psychological research and the paper is a little bit complex for me, with PDF Element, I can chat with the PDF and ask it to explain or summarize or even to apply things to my context. I really like this tool that I can ask it to automatically go through and bookmark a PDF, which maybe doesn't have a table of contents written into it. When you get to a section which is a bit too complex, simply highlight and click explain. Or maybe there's a paragraph which you just need the gist of for another purpose. Highlight it and ask it to summarize. So I'm determined to move my organization away from its addiction to printing. It's not gonna be easy in education and it will probably take shifting all of assessment away from paper. It will take change to the way that students are assessed for the teachers to change the way they teach. But for the professional learning that we do, it's perhaps an easier shift. And now with the amazing tools that are being developed, like PDF Element, there'll be so many benefits of PDF over paper that even the slowest to adopt new technologies will have to make the change. I always ask for the PDF of any documents that I'm given, but if they don't have one, I can always take a picture and use OCR to recognize all the document in seconds. Then I can keep a cloud library of all of my important PDFs. You can use the Wondershare cloud, or you can just link it to your Google Drive. I'm going to have to sell it to them, and so I'll focus on the benefits. Editing PDF signing, organizing, and extracting pages, being able to quickly edit and add to PDF learning resources. They'll love that. And they'll love being able to more easily adapt and change documents that come down to us as PDFs from exam boards, for example. Oh, and actually I haven't even mentioned the AI content detection feature. Teachers are gonna love that. That will let them check if a student's work has actually been all or partially written by AI. Do we need Word anymore? It would certainly be interesting to see what the Microsoft AI Copilot is like, but I still think that we'll be using PDF going forward. Do we need paper anymore? We're getting closer, and this app is another giant leap forward in managing our documents without paper. And I, for one, am glad. <laughs> and if you're interested in finding out more about how I use PDF planners and e-ink tablets to manage my productivity and work, 
then I'd suggest having a look at either of these two videos next.